In this video, I'll be solving January 2019, paper 2, question 4. Part A. Given the function h of x is equal to 2x plus 3 all over 5 minus x, determine part 1, the value of x for which the function is undefined for one mark. Now, h of x is undefined when its denominator is equal to 0, since you cannot divide any quantity by 0. So, I'll take the denominator here, 5 minus x, and place it equal to 0, and I want to make x the subject of the formula. So this is 5 is equal to x, x is equal to 5. So therefore, the function is undefined when x is equal to 5. Part 2. Determine an expression for h inverse of x for 3 marks. Now they gave us here that h of x is equal to 2x plus 3 all over 5 minus x. So I'll write here h of x is equal to 2x plus 3 all over 5 minus x. So I'll say here that let h of x be equal to y. So y is equal to 2x plus 3 all over 5 minus x. Now I want to interchange x and y. So this will be wherever I see x, I'll place y, wherever I see y, I'll place x. So x is equal to 2y plus 3 all over 5 minus y. Now I want to make y the subject of the formula. So, I'll place x over 1 is equal to 2y plus 3 all over 5 minus y. Drawing my arrows here, x multiplied by 5 minus y, this becomes here x, open brackets, 5 minus y is equal to 1 multiplied by anything itself, so this is 2y plus 3. Expanding these brackets by the distributive law here, this is 5x minus xy is equal to 2y plus 3. Now, I want to take this minus xy to the right-hand side and take this positive 3 to the left-hand side. So this becomes here 5x minus 3 is equal to 2y plus xy. So 5x minus 3 is equal to, and I want to factorize out y here. So y is equal to 2 plus x, dividing here by 2 plus x, dividing by 2 plus x. This cancels. So y is equal to 5x minus 3 all over 2 plus x. So therefore, h inverse of x is equal to 5x minus 3 all over x plus 2. Part B. The graph below shows a straight line intersecting the x and y axes. Part 1. Using the graph, determine the gradient of the line for two marks. Now, I need to identify the coordinates of two points on this line that I will use to find the gradient. I will be using the coordinates of the x and y intercepts. The x-intercept occurs here at P which is 5, 0, and the y-intercept occurs here at 0, 4. So I'll write here p is 5, 0, and the coordinates of the y-intercept is 0, 4. Now I'll let this point be x1, y1, and let this point here be x2, y2. Now the formula for the gradient m is y2 minus y1 all on x2 minus x1. So I'm going to substitute the values of x1, y1, x2, y2 into this formula here. So this is 4 minus 0 all over 0 minus 5. So 4 minus 0 is 4 
and 0 minus 5 here is minus 5. A minus and a plus is a minus. So this becomes here minus 4 over 5. Part 2. Determine the equation of the line for one mark. Now the general equation of a straight line is y is equal to mx plus c, where m is the gradient and c is the y-intercept. Now from b part 1, we identify the gradient to be minus 4 over 5. We also identify the coordinates of the y-intercept, which is 0, 4. This means that when x is 0, y is equal to 4. So c here is equal to 4. So I'll write here, m is equal to minus 4 over 5. And c here is equal to 4. Substituting the values of m and c into the general form of the equation of a line, we have here y is equal to minus 4 over 5x plus 4. Part 3. Determine the equation of the perpendicular line that passes through p for two marks. Now for perpendicular lines, the product of their gradients is minus 1. This means that m1 multiplied by m2 is equal to minus 1. And m1, which is the gradient of the first line, is equal to minus 4 over 5. Now I want to find the gradient of the perpendicular line m2. So I need to make m2 the subject of the formula. So m2 is equal to minus 1 divided by m1. And substituting into this equation for m1, this becomes m2 is equal to minus 1 divided by minus 4 over 5. Notice here that the signs are the same, so this will become positive. Also, I'm dividing here by a fraction, so I need to multiply by the reciprocal. So m2 is equal to 1 multiplied by 5 over 4. m2 is equal to 5 over 4. Now, I want to find the equation of the perpendicular line that passes through P. And the coordinates of P here is 5, 0. I'll call this here x1, y1. And the gradient of the line that passes through P, m, is 5 over 4. And I will be using the point gradient form of the equation of the line to find the equation of the perpendicular line that passes through P. So I'll write here y minus y1 is equal to m by x minus x1. Substituting into this equation here, x1, y1, and m, this becomes here y minus 0 is equal to 5 over 4. Open brackets here, x minus 5. y minus 0 is y. This is equal to 5 over 4 multiplied by x here is 5 over 4x. 5 multiplied by minus 5 here is minus 25 over 4.